told to introduce myself since some of you may not know who I am. I'm Brad, Maryland's firstborn and undisputed favorite. <laughs> and no matter what you hear from anybody who follows, do not listen to them. I have evidence. <laughs> but enough of that. The children of Maryland have chosen to share thoughts about our mother around a common theme of joy. It has been said that the book of Philippians is a book that highlights the place of joy in the Christian experience. As we reflect upon Maryland's life and the sub-theme of joy, some of us will base our remarks from verses out of this book of Philippians. The Bible, more than any other holy book, emphasizes the importance of joy. The former atheist turned Christian apologist, C.S. Lewis, was one to faith in Christ because he was surprised by joy. After receiving Christ, Lewis wrote later that joy is the serious business of heaven. Marilyn was a woman who had an infectious joy. Her joy flowed out of her relationship with Jesus. Philippians exhorts us to emulate the character of Jesus if we want to experience his same joy. One way that Paul tells us we can experience the joy of Christ is through humility. Jesus, being in the very form of God, humbled himself. Taking the form of a servant, he became obedient to death even the shameful death on a cross. So Paul, following Christ's example, in order to enter into that joy, explains how he too gave up all of the things that were advantages for him so that he could experience the same joy of Christ through humility. The humble person does not get that way by trying to be humble. The moment you start trying to be humble or reflect on your own humility is the same moment that it vanishes. The humble person does not try to be humble or is mindful that they are condescending to befriend someone of a lower status. The humble person is not thinking about themselves at all. Her focus and attention is outward. The humble person does not lack for friends because humility looks past the things that normally divide people. Humility looks past skin color, social economic status, and popularity. It sees only a person and then asks, what can I do to bless that person? Marilyn had many friends. Marilyn loved to make friends. Her humility allowed her to make many friends and and all of her friends brought her much joy. She expressed that joy to her friends in many ways that she sought to be a friend and to meet a need. Many of us received a home-cooked meal, a dessert, a song on the organ or the piano, a handmade card or one of those money shirts, a carefully crafted scrapbook, a phone call, a visit, a hug, and a smile. Those things when we really needed them the most. Mom's joy also came from bringing people together. Though her house was not the most spacious or elegant, this did not hinder her from inviting friends and family over for get-togethers. She found great satisfaction in planning events that brought people together. This, even this event today, her going to heaven has given us a taste of heaven now. There are friends and relatives that haven't seen each other in many years. But because of this occasion, Marilyn has brought us together again. But we must remember that the cornerstone of her joy was her relationship with Jesus. <coughs> The same Jesus who looked beyond her faults and saw her need. Marilyn's acknowledgement of her own need for grace 
in the eyes of Jesus was what gave her eyes to see beyond the faults of others and minister to their needs. Mom, thanks. Thanks for teaching me about Jesus and for teaching me to experience Jesus in the same way that you did and for, joy, for showing me the path to joy that comes through the humility of Jesus. We are the granddaughters of Marilyn Osbury. Um, we'll be reading a poem. It was one of her favorites. The title is called The Music Will Never End. I used to think, loving life so greatly, that to die would be like leaving the party before the end. But now I know that the party is really happening somewhere else. That the light and the music escaping in snatches to make the pulse beat faster and the tempo quicken comes from another place. And I know too that when I get there, the music and the love and the praise will belong to him and the music will never end. <laughs> 